Hi, welcome to the video on digital logic. My name is Hira Shaheen and today I am going to discuss De Morgan's law and simplifications. So, De Morgan's law says that if we have we have added two variables x dot y and after that we have, we are complementing the whole term then the result will be x complement plus y complement okay the complement x complement plus y complement what is it this is x dot y whole bar is equal to x complement plus y complement and x plus y whole bar bar means complement you can say complement or you can say bar x plus y whole bar is equal to x bar dot y bar okay so these two are de morgan's law and this is very important for simplifications okay so and the next very important property in we use in digital logic that is known as dual function or function of duality it says that if there is a function which is uh, which is in the form of boolean uh, boolean variables x y z a b c any name it is there and what we have to do if it is written in the x then what you have to do its dual will contain x bar okay if it is the normal if it is given the function in, in the function it is given that it is x then it in its dual it will be x bar and plus will be converted to dot and dot will be converted to y and every variable will be complemented in its dual function and 0 will be converted to 1 and 1 will be converted to 0 that is known as dual function it means if you are having a function in, in the form of a b c dot dot 0 1 plus dot then its dual dual function will be a bar, b bar, c bar, 1, 0. 0 will be converted to 1, 1 will be converted to 0, plus will be converted to dot, and dot will be converted to uh, plus, and non complemented will be converted to complementation. Okay, so this is known as dual function. Any expression you choose. And you will see that this is true in every case. See, x plus y. x plus y, its dual function will be, if function is written as x plus y, then its dual function will be what? x bar dot y bar how we are finding dual we are finding its complement when we complement this using this de morgan's law okay dual is nothing but the complement this is complement so when we are finding complement of this means we are putting bar over here and when we put bar over here, x plus y bar is what? x bar dash dot y bar. That's why x has changed to x dash and y has been changed to y dash and plus has been changed to dot. That is known as dual function. Means if, it, the, if function is given in the boolean variables and we have to find its dual function, you just have to, what you have to take change? you have to complement the variables and plus will be converted to dot and dot will be converted to zero uh, sorry dot will be converted to plus if your function is given that uh, x dot y then its dual what it what will be its dual its dual will be x bar dot sorry dot no it will be plus bar 
how we are finding this? We are complementing this, and you know that x dot y complement is x complement plus y complement. So, what it has become? It is dual. X has been converted to plus. Y has been converted to x has been converted to complement. Y has been converted to complement, and dot has been converted to plus. So now. Here is the problem x plus x y plus y z plus x bar y bar plus x bar z bar and we have to simplify it. So let's see. You can do it in different way also. Okay. So it is not necessary that you follow the same step but the result should be same. The result you are getting should be same but if you are not getting the same result it means you have, you have done something wrong somewhere. Okay. So start from here. x plus x y. I am taking these two terms and taking x common. What you know that it will become 1 plus y plus yz plus x bar y bar plus x bar z bar. 1 plus y will become 1. So it will be x plus yz plus x bar y bar plus x bar z bar. So what it will be? Now this is x and x bar y bar. Let's take these two terms. Okay. So what we can write, what you know from here, this rule that x plus y z, you can write x plus y into x plus z. So x is in x plus y into x plus z. Therefore, we can write this as x x plus x bar into x plus y bar plus y z plus x bar z bar. So, this x plus x bar will be 1. So, what it will be x plus y bar plus yz plus x bar z bar. So now x we can use this again x plus x bar z bar. So x expand it x plus x bar into x plus z bar plus we can expand these two terms also y bar plus y into y bar plus z. So this x plus x bar will become 1 and this will become x plus z bar plus y bar plus z. And this z plus z bar will be 1. What we can write? x plus y bar plus 1 and we know that 1 plus anything will become 1. So your result will be 1 plus x plus y bar is equal to 1. So this is your answer. Okay. So if you like my video don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe my channel. If you have any query, you can ask in the discussion forum or you can write in the comment section also. Thanks for watching.